ever done definitions. And last meeting we had, I did 12 of them. And I'm going to go through A through Z of the definitions that we need to know about. Fresh our memories. Last time we met, uh, I want to go back and say some things about it. Uh, forward progress of an airborne receiver. As soon as uh, the meeting was over, when I finished my trip, uh, deal, uh, Lloyd Getzoff came up to me and he said, you, you didn't tell him right. So I'm going to tell you the correct uh, this time. Whenever a player catches the ball toward the sideline and he's knocked sideways or carried sideways, not knocked, carried sideways or backward, the forward progress spot is where he's first contacted. That's where the, he'll get the forward progress field, not where he passed, crosses the sideline. I forgot to talk about illegal touching as a loss of down signal. Illegal touching is this. It is a five yard penalty from two different spots. If the left guard goes downfield and he tries to catch the forward pass, that's a flag. It's illegal touching. It'll be five yards from the previous spot and loss of down. If the left guard backs up, and the quarterback from the shotgun position throws the ball, and the left guard tries to catch it. That's the spot where you walk off the five yards, particularly three yards behind the line of scrimmage, not from the previous spot. So there are two spots for illegal touching. Coach wants to talk to you, referee, on the sideline, in the field of play. The assistant coaches of either team can go out to the hash mark area in the middle of the field and communicate with all 11 players, okay? Even though the, the head coach is over there talking to the referee, the assistant coach can go out there, or the players, but both kids can go to the sidelines. So don't tell them they can't do that. New definition that I'm gonna talk about. So the first one is fighting. Generally, fighting is during a dead ball. It is always going to be an ejection, fighting. However, fighting can occur during the play. If you see a guy slug the guy while another guy's running with the ball, for example, <coughs> throw your flag at that spot. Okay, it's a spot foul for fighting. Of course, it'll be ejected. It's a 15-yard penalty. Touching. There are two types of first touching. The first one is on a kickoff. From the 40-yard line to the 50-yard line, if the K players are first to touch that ball in that 10-yard area, covering officials, drop your bean bag where it is, and you may want to do this, meaning first touching. Okay? Once the ball on a kickoff goes beyond 10 yards and the K player is the first to touch it, it's nothing. It's like this. Free ball. And anybody can recover it, and if K recovers it, it's a it's their ball on a kickoff. Now the other type of first touching is on a punt, a field goal attempt, or yeah, punt or field goal attempt. It's when the kicking team is first to touch the ball beyond the expanded neutral zone. If they first touch it, drop your bean bag for first touching. You do like that, you want to, okay? Those are the two types of first touching. Force. I can't believe it, but we have officials who are signaling a touchdown when the ball is like uh, punting and it's bounding toward ours end zone and there's a fight for the ball and then K touches it, R touches it, and it goes into the end zone and K falls on the ball and they call it a touchdown. Never. It is 100% of the time a what? A touchback, an unpossessed kickball, unpossessed kickball that goes into our end zone is always a touchback. No matter who touches it last, it's got nothing to do with it. Ball or progress. The guy runs with the ball and he hits the club area and he breaks free. Don't be too quick, side man, to blow your whistle for forward progress. 
you know, when he hits that line, don't blow it right then. He may break free and go and go with it. Now, here's the reason I'm going to talk about hard progress. There's a difference between the goal line hard progress and the field of play hard progress. If the runner going toward the goal line goes like this and stretches that ball out and he bears the goal line like this, the goal line, that's a touchdown, even though he's hit and knocked back. Immediately in his possession, if it penetrates the goal line, go up. However, in the field of play, it's different. We're going like to the sideline, and the first down marker, the, the front stake, the guy is running with the ball, and he goes like this. He stretches out, and there's the stake, and he's gone beyond the stake with the ball, and he goes like this. He pulls it back in, and he runs right over here, and he goes out of bounds. It is not a first down. It's out of bounds where he went out of bounds with the ball where it was. Had he gone out of bounds like that, it would have been a first down. Ball forward. When the runner hands the ball forward, beyond the line of scrimmage, or during a punt return or kickoff return, and the, the handing of the ball is unsuccessful to his teammate, it is not a foul. Don't go apply for illegal forward handing unless the guy possesses it, the, the guy he's handing it to. If he gets it, that is a foul. But not if the ball is not received by him. It falls to the, to the ground and it's nothing. It's nothing but a fumble. And argument. Spearing is when a player with the top of his helmet goes straight into an opponent below the, this area, below the shoulders. That's spearing. Targeting is when he deliberately, now it's not, deliberately aims at, with his helmet at the opponent's helmet. You know, like the defender is going to tackle the, the quarterback or the runner. Deliberately hits him with his helmet, not the top of it, just hits him with a helmet or his hand or elbow or shoulder, anything like that above the shoulders is targeting. Hurdling generally deals with a runner. You'll see him go like this and he'll leap over like a hurdle over the defender. Now, if the defender is like this, for example, if he's like this, like this, or like this, like this, and the, and the runner jumps over him, or anyone jumps over him like a hurdle, it is not hurdling. Here's the only way you can have hurdling. It's like this. If, if the runner's coming, and I'm like this, and I'm over here like this, not touching with my hands on the ground, and he hurdles over me, that is the foul. It is a personal foul, 15 yards. It is a spot foul. You make your call. Okay. It is a first down run out of bounds. The ball is run out of bounds on the 30 yard line. Three seconds remain after the clock stops because he went out of bounds. It is first down and 10 yards to go on the 30, on B30. The quarterback rolls out and he goes to B25 and he throws a pass into the end zone. And the defender interferes with the receivers trying to catch the ball, but because of his dexterity, the receiver catches the ball for a touchdown. And during all this time ran out because we started with three seconds. Now give me the rule. What do we do? Raise your hands and so I can acknowledge you and get the 